Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Legit Astrologer. My name is Rajat Kapoor. Today, it's a short, simple, intelligent video about Mercury's quick transit in the sign of Cancer. Mercury has already made a transit in the sign of Cancer on 8th of July and it is going to stay in the sign of Cancer till 25th of July. And in case you're new to my channel, please subscribe Hit the bell icon and share this video with your friends so that you keep yourself up to date with all the upcoming transit videos and interesting astrology videos that are coming your way. And in case you wish to book a personalized consultation with me, you can check out the link to my website in the comment section and how you can reach out to me. So Mercury has moved out of its own sign of Gemini and has entered in the very emotional sign of cancer and i'm not going to talk in detail about how this transit is going to have an impact on all 12 ascendant signs i will keep that discussion for the next mercury transit which is in the sign of leo where it is going to stay for a longer period of time but in this video i'm going to talk about its general interpretations and how it will have an impact in a positive manner and for which signs it will give a mixed result. This transit is only going to last for a few days. It is a fast transit. That is the inherent nature of Mercury. It moves very fast. It also delivers results in a very fast or a quick succession. The last few weeks, Mercury has been in a happy state. It continues to transit in a friendly sign. Cancer is one such sign that is friendly for all the planets because Moon does not hold enmity with any of the planets. That is why this sign also represents happiness, satisfaction. It is the natural fourth house. It is a very compassionate, a very emotional sign. Now Mercury, which represents intelligence, it represents management. Mercury represents communication. It rules the natural third house of Gemini and the natural sixth house of Virgo in the Kal Purusha Kundi, which means it rules all the efforts communication, short journeys and travel, siblings. It is the karaka for growth and it also rules daily routines, competitions, depths and diseases and has now made a transit in the natural fourth house which is the house of happiness. It is the Sukha Bhava. It represents the most comfortable space that you would like to be in. It also represents mother and the homeland. Mercury is earth element Cancer is a watery sign. So when earth and water comes together, what does that signify? So when earth plus water comes together, it is an indication of growth. It is an indication of nurturing. How does plants and tree grow on earth? They need water. They need water to nurture and grow. Mercury represents communication, management, intelligence. The key message for this transit is that you are responsible for your own nurturing and growth during this time. Your communication, your intelligent and management skills are going to play an important role during this month in fostering your own growth. The natural third and the sixth house lord has come into the natural fourth house, which means efforts, travel, competition, daily routines, debts, diseases, loans, also, third and the sixth house play a very important role in terms of growth because their upachaya bhavas have come in home. So, which means growth begins at home. It is a comfortable space. However, there are two parts to this transit. The first few days, Mercury is not in the most comfortable space. I will give you the reasons as well. But later on, it seems like a positive transit as it will also move in the sign of Leo later this month. Now, Mercury is also two steps away from reaching its sign of exaltation or its small tricone sign of Virgo. During this transit, Mercury is aspecting the sign of Capricorn. What does Mercury desire during this transit? Mercury desires you to go on the ground and work. Put all your communication, your efforts, your daily routine, your management skills and intelligence at work on the ground. It is time for action. This is what Mercury desires. Some important dates for this transit. On 10th of July, Mercury is going to enter Pushya Nakshatra. Now, Pushya Nakshatra is ruled by Saturn. And Mercury will stay in Pushya Nakshatra for about one week. Now, during this time, wherever the sign of Libra is in your chart is going to demonstrate positive results. So between 10th of July till 17th of July, wherever the sign of Libra is in your chart is going to demonstrate 
positive results. On 17th of July, Mercury will enter Ashtlesha Nakshatra, which is its own nakshatra. Mercury rules this nakshatra and it is going to stay in Ashtlesha Nakshatra till 25th of July, till the end of this transit. During this time, wherever the sign of Virgo is in your chart, where Mercury gets exalted, is going to demonstrate positive results. Please make a note of these dates. Between 17th of July till 25th of July, Mercury is extremely powerful. One, because it's in Ashlesha Nakshatra, which is its own nakshatra. Two, because Surya or Sun is also entering the sign of Cancer around the same time. And they're creating an auspicious Buddha Aditya Yoga, which is the yoga for intelligence. So intelligence at home, learning is at home, it begins from yourself. And three, the new moon is also going to happen in Ashlesha Nakshatra. So it is carrying all those energies. So it's quite a fruitful time to put your intelligence and management skills in practice, which can foster your growth over the next few months. Who is going to have a maximum impact of this short transit? Quite obviously, if you have prominent planets in the sign of Cancer or in the sign of Capricorn, you are going to be impacted by this transit. If Mercury or any of these planets play a role in your ongoing Mahadasha, Antadasha, Pratantadasha, you are likely to be impacted by this transit. Even if Sun or Moon plays a role because they are going to come in contact with Mercury and Mercury is transiting Moon's sign, so you are also going to be impacted by this transit if they play a role in your ongoing Mahadasha, Antadasha or Pratantadasha. From 9th of July till 16th of July, Mercury is transiting alone in the sign of Cancer. It does not have any aspect. Therefore, there is no support that Mercury is getting. Mercury is one of the planet that needs support because it gets influenced very quickly. This could be good, this could be bad as well. But then at a mundane level, this is not the most comfortable space for Mercury during this time because it lacks support. So during these days, there could be issues with regards to electronics at home, technology at home. Uh, fourth house is also the house of public. So you could witness some sort of expression or anger in social media networks or platforms or some sort of competition that is ongoing as well. And that could escalate. Mercury is also under a Pap Kartari Yoga during this time as it has two natural malefics in adjacent houses which is Sun and Mars. So be cautious during this time with your communication with the gadgets or equipments that you're using at this time at your home and take it easy. From 17th till 25th of July, it's quite a powerful Mercury because there is Buddha Aditya Yoga in Cancer and New Moon in Ashlesha, which I have already mentioned. During these Nakshatra transits in Pusha and Ashlesha, Mercury is activating the third cycle. What does that mean? Third cycle is all about communication, it is about travel, it is about siblings, it is about performing arts, it is about putting a lot of efforts. It's quite a positive indication that Mercury is giving for us to channelize our energies in the appropriate direction, start from our own house, from our own home before we go ahead and teach others and preach others. Now let's also talk about the signs who are going to witness positive results during this transit. However, these results would be primarily dependent on your ongoing Mahadasha, Antadasha and Pratantadasha. The Ascendant or Moon signs of Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio and Aquarius are likely to experience positive results during this Mercury's short transit. And on the other hand, Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Sagittarius and Pisces Ascendants or Moon signs are likely to experience mixed results only on the basis of the transit of Mercury in the sign of Cancer. So this is a short quick update on Mercury's transit in the sign of Cancer. I will make a video in the next transit of Leo because that is when it is staying for a longer duration and how it is going to have an impact on all 12 ascendants in a very simple and lucid manner. Okay. In case you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for upcoming videos on transits and Vedic astrology. I hope that Mercury's short transit in sign of cancer brings a lot of wisdom, intelligence at home and may it encourages us to put a lot more efforts at our workplace and get in action so that we can grow over the next few months. Thank you very much and God bless you all.